Okay, we are back for the next experiment. In this experiment, we're going to be making what's called PVA slime. And this is another kit from the universe of science. And its directions look like this. And in the bag that is in your kit, you'll get two bottles. One is polyvinyl alcohol, and that's what PVA stands for. And the other is called sodium borate solution. And I'm going to take the cap off the PVA right now, and I'm going to add a couple drops of my favorite food coloring. I like blue. I added three drops. And I'm just going to put the cap back on. It's okay if you want to create your own color. You can try mixing some different colors together to see what you get. And there it is. So what is PVA? Well, PVA stands for polyvinyl alcohol, and it's four parts chemical and 96 parts water. And so what happens is this chemical is used in different industries. One of the uses is to make plastic. So this experiment does not go in your mouth and it's a good idea to wear your goggles for this experiment too. So I'm gonna turn off the player and come back with my goggles. All right, we are back for some PVA slime, and this is a lot of fun here today. Now, we spent quite a while through several YouTube videos to teach you about the different states of matter. Well, slime doesn't fall into those states of matter. There were solids, liquids, gases, but what we're going to make next is not either one. It's sort of like in the middle between a, a solid and a liquid. It has properties of both, and that's called a non-Newtonian fluid. Universe of Science has done a great job explaining about non-Newtonian fluids. And with that, I'm going to go right to the experiment. So to start off, you're gonna need this small cup that comes, it's already packed in your bag. And it even has a little, a smaller spoon called a teaspoon. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take a full teaspoon Pour it into that cup just to see how it reacts when it touches the next ingredient, which is called sodium borate. Now, you may have heard of borax. Borax is used for whitening of your clothes in a solid form. You, they pour it in and uh, it works well. It's very reactive with polyvinyl alcohol. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a couple drops. I'm gonna put three drops in, and I'm gonna use my little stir stick here, and I'm going to stir it together to see if anything happens. Nothing's really happening yet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We are starting to get a little bit of a gel forming in there. And that is a non-Newtonian fluid. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Put a few more drops in and keep stirring and you're gonna just mix it all up. And this way, you will have some for some other experiments. The more you stir, the gooier it gets. Oh my, look at that. If we were to pour this on the table and let it sit there for a few hours, it would harden into a thin sheet of plastic. This is used to make something called overhead transparencies, which teachers used in their classrooms long before the smart board was invented. Your kit has several other different experiments that you can try with your PVA solution 
and your sodium borate. So this is a different way of making slime. And I'm going to come back to this a little bit later to show you another way you can make slime. Mm -hmm.